Downloading and installing the RecMin program is very easy. What I do want you to remember is that the whole process is in Spanish language since the software was developed in Spain. I invite you to follow the steps in this video so that you can install it correctly and use it in your language. Okay, you are going to open your web browser and you are going to type the RecMin software website, which is w.recmin.com. If you notice the website is in Spanish language, I recommend you to translate it to your language. After you have it translated to your language, go to the menu bar and go to, to the menu bar and go to the download section and choose the first option that says Recman download. And of those two options that you are looking at there, you are going to choose the one that says 2023. Click on download and choose to download to a site where you can view it. Once it has been downloaded, we locate it and unzip it. Once it is unzipped, you go in there and you will find three files that are the installation files. And the one with which you are going to run the process is the file named setup. Okay, before that, I want to clarify again that the whole process is in Spanish language. Try to follow the steps below. Double click on the setup file. In this window, you are going to click on the first accept button. In this first window, you are going to click on the first button that says accept. In this next window, you will click on the button with the drawing of a computer. In this window, you are going to click directly on the first button that says continue. And wait, and wait for the installation process to start. If you get this type of messages, which are compatibility warnings, click on the first button. If it comes up again, click on accept as many times as the window pops up. Okay, finally this window pops up informing you that the installation is has been successfully completed. Click on accept. And that's it, the Recman program is ready. Installed, ready to run it. You go to disk C and here you will find the folder named Recman. Three, here are all the files of the Recmin program installation, i.e. it is already installed. Select the file that says rmiact.exe and double click on it. The following window will pop up and in this window, which is described in English, you are going to click on the accept button. And in this window, you are going to type four alphanumeric digits that can be numbers or letters to identify the Recmin user on your computer. I, for example, use the initial letters of my full name. You could use the date of your birth or some number of only four alphanumeric digits. Click on the first button, accept. In this window, you also click on accept. In this other window, you also click on the accept button. And ready, the Recmin program is now ready to be used. You can use it. But if you notice, the interface is in Spanish language. To change the interface to the other language, to English, click on the last menu. And here you choose the second option. Click on accept. Restart the Recmin program. And it is already in English language. Well, you should see the Recmin free version icon and I suggest you edit the name and write Recmin. Recommendation number one, so that you can use the software correctly. The Recmin program uses the international decimal system where the point is the decimal separator and the comma is the thousand separator. You change that in your Windows control panel. Let's do it right now. You are looking for the control panel go to the language clock section. In change formats of date, number, and time, in this window, you are going to click where it says additional configuration. And in this window, you are going to verify that the decimal sign is written as a point, and if not, you change it. You write a dot there, then in thousand separator. You write a comma, and in the list separator, semicolon, click on apply, accept, apply, accept. Close this window, and that's it, that's it. 
Now, when you start the program RecMin, it is possible that in this tab, this option appears inactive. In fact, it is, is an additional application. This application called Visor 3D allows you to view objects with better quality in 3D. It is not mandatory, but if you want to, you can also download from the RecMin website and install. You go to the RecMin website and go to the download section and go to the viewer 3D download section. Here you will choose the file according to the operating system of your computer. In my case, my computer is 64 bit, so you download that option. Okay, you download. I already have it downloaded here. You just unzip it, open that folder, and you will find two installation files. You will use the one named setup. But, but in order for this additional viewer to work properly, you have to download DirectX 10. If you look at the Recmin website, from where you downloaded the 3D viewer, if you check here below, there are some recommendations where it tells you that for it to work, you need to have DirectX 10 installed. And right here, it gives you the link so that you can download it. Click there and download it. I already have it downloaded here. Ready to be able to install it. But first I recommend you create a folder on disk C named DirectX. I already have it installed, but it is actually very easy to do so. You simply go to the folder where you downloaded it, run it with double click, click on accept. You look for the folder that you created in the disk C with name DirectX or any other name. Click on accept and click OK. Remember, I already have it unzipped. I go to disk C and here in the DirectX and folder when running it, it will download this list of files and in this list of files, you will find the file name Deke Setup. You are going to double click on it and follow the direct extent installation procedure. You do not need to uninstall DirectX 11 or whatever you have on your computer. Simply follow the installation steps for DirectX 11. New DirectX that I am showing you below. You accept the contract, click next, next and wait for it to install. Ready, click on finish, and that's it. Very well, once DirectX 10 is already installed, you go to the download folder, and now we are going to install the new 3D viewer. Click on setup. Here the process is also in Spanish language. Simply click on the next button. Next, next. Here you click on yes. And that's it. The installation has finished correctly. Very well. Then you start the Recmin program, which is the classic version. And click on this tab. And you notice that the viewer is still inactive after installation. Then you restart Recmin, restart again and see if it runs. And it is ready to be used. If it doesn't appear here, contact me. Okay. Very well. This way you have successfully completed the installation process. Exactly the classic version, which is totally free so that you can use it in any mining project, either in geological modeling or mine topography, mine design, and many other things. If you need help on how to use RecMin, you can go to my website or contact me to offer you my online training services technical assistance and other services you may require related to Redmin software. In another video, I will show you how to install the new pro version of Redmin that we are disseminating today from the Redmin program and it is much easier the process. Okay, thank you very much. Don't forget to recommend this video to other geology and mining professionals. Can download and make use of the Redmin program, which as I remind you is a totally free program. Okay, thank you.